Within the finance function in the firm, there are two primary decisions that have to be made. First, what projects do we invest in? And second, how do we raise the money to undertake those projects? It takes capital, in other words, money, to undertake any project. That money comes from investors, and those investors expect to earn a return on their investment. Thus, when we're analyzing a project to determine whether the cash inflows we're going to get from selling our product are going to cover the costs, the outflows that we use in producing it, one of those outflows that we have to consider is an appropriate rate of return on the investment of those investors. A project should not be undertaken unless it's expected to cover the cost of the return to those investors. With respect to raising the money, financing our project, there's really two issues. One is the timing of the cash flow. The other is the form in which we raise it. With respect to timing, it's a fact of life that in producing something, most of the cash outflows associated with producing it have to happen before we get any cash inflows from selling it. Therefore, we have to be sure that we're going to have the cash we need at the time that we need it. There have been many a project that would have been a good project in the long run that fails in the short run for having run out of cash. Once we've decided on how much we need and when we need it, then the remaining question is, so what form do we want to raise it in? There are a number of different types of securities we can issue, but the two most basic are equity and debt, which you may know as stocks and bonds. The decision about relatively how much of each of these securities to raise is one that is very important. It impacts the cost of capital, it impacts the likelihood that the firm will survive, and it even has some impacts on how people within the company behave. I've been teaching finance for almost 20 years now, and I still find it to be a fascinating topic. I've also found over those years that students like you, who have backgrounds in engineering and science and other quantitative subjects, tend to be especially adept at finance and to enjoy it especially well.